Hello everybody! So a while ago I did a review on the Bitter Gourd, or Bitter Melon, which is a very, very popular uh, fruit. Culinarily it's a vegetable, but botanically it is a fruit, and this is usually cooked in uh, different curries, or it's uh, sautéed with eggs, and it's popular. It's a popular thing that people, people use in several parts of the world. And it's also used raw. Some people like blending this into juices. They believe that it's good for them. Super, super bitter though, so I wouldn't recommend actually doing that. Anyway, so I was walking down the street in my neighborhood and walked underneath uh, an underpass and there was a little old lady hunched over with a blanket with vegetables on it. These are very obviously things that she was just growing in her backyard. And she had this. This is a ripe bitter melon, or ripe bitter gourd, or whatever you want to call it. So very, very different looking than an unripe one. But usually people only eat it like this. They don't want to wait until it turns like this, because when it gets like this, I guess it is uh, questionable what, whether or not it's edible. So I did a little bit of research online trying to find out if this is edible in this stage, and uh, a very helpful blog that I came across was by uh, Pull Up Your Plants, who is a viewer of the series. So Pull Up Your Plants, thank you. I'll put a link to your blog entry in the description below. Pull Up Your Plants found articles saying that this is poison, that this is used as a medicine only, and that it is totally edible. So depending on your source, it has all three of those options available to you. And I err on the side of edible. I think this is edible because I've had things related to this in its ripe stage that are totally edible, including the gak fruit, the balsam apple, and there's a couple other ones that I've had. Uh, those are totally fine. People use the ripe ones. And I think because of that, this is probably also edible. Uh, if you're thinking of eating like a whole hell of a lot of this stuff for some reason, then uh, yeah, maybe do a little bit more research than me. Me, I'm just going to give this a taste. So uh, one thing with this, I, I already opened it, which is why I'm only showing one side, uh, but one thing about it is that this is hollow, and this one, not so much. Inside, there's a hollow cavity filled with these red blood clots of fruit inside. So this would be the thing that you would eat ripe on, uh, on like, gak fruit. It looks very, very similar to this, and balsam apple looks very similar to this. So let's see what this is like if you eat it. Oh, it's really slimy. Um, it's hard for me to even, like, hold on. I, it's, it's like falling out of my hand. I'm like trying to pick it up and it's like so slimy that it's hard to even like hold on to. Okay, come here. It's alright. Tastes a lot better than when you eat it unripe. Um, hmm. It's sweet. And it is mild. There's only a very slight bitterness to it. Like the bitterness that you would get from eating, I don't know, a little bit of like a raw squash maybe. It's like just faintly bitter. The texture's awful. There's slimy little nuggets. It's a little vegetal tasting. It's a little metallic tasting. It's a little creamy. Kind of like how the gak fruit is kind of creamy. It tastes like there's like a little bit of like oil content in it. But mostly it doesn't have much flavor. It's uh, it's very mild. I'd say like the closest thing I can relate this to is maybe like a very ripe persimmon. Just not as sweet and not as good. And to break it down a little bit, that sweetness, about the same sweetness as an apple. The bitterness, very low. The bitterness you'd get from eating like a handful of spinach. Tartness, no tartness. Uh, the seeds on this are um, interesting in the sense that they're not interesting because all the other Mamortica species I've had, Mamortica is the genus of this guy by the way, uh, all of those have been really weird looking. They look like little carved wooden turtles. This 
is uh, very small, and it kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, like a chubby sunflower seed. Kind of looks like that. And this you wouldn't want to eat. I, I've heard that uh, Mamor Mamortica um, seeds are generally not edible. Some of them are, like the Cantola, which one I, I had before, or the Spiny Gourd. That one had edible seeds in it. The other ones, uh, probably not a good idea to, to eat the seeds. So I'm not going to eat that. The rind on the unripe one is totally fine to eat. But when it becomes ripe, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, I'm just, I'm going to try like a little piece of it just for scientific purposes. I don't recommend actually doing this. Tastes fine. It doesn't taste uh, as sweet as the center. And it doesn't taste um, as good. It's a little bit more bitter. Kind of like, um, like a very mild orange rind sort of flavor. A little vegetal as well but surprisingly also not that bitter. So I think that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. It's just interesting to find another thing that is usually eaten unripe. And I think a lot of people don't realize that this thing is unripe when actually it'll turn into this when it grows a little bit more. So uh, yeah, what is ripe and what is unripe is um, kind of a relative thing. You know, if you, a lot of the fruits that we have in order to eat them properly, it either needs to be unripe, ripe, or overripe, uh, as something would be on the plant. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is inedible when it is not uh, ripe or overripe. But uh, otherwise, I think that's about it. So I will see you next time. Bye bye. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, is how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.